Good job, babe. Trying to beef up your back? Colt and I are going to show you one of the most underrated compound lifts that will do the trick. What do pullovers target anyways? Lats, chest, serratus, triceps, and abs? Well, all the above really, but today we're focusing on lats. Pullovers are normally used as an isolation move to target the serratus, which lies underneath the pecs in very lean athletes to complement the obliques. But that's not our focus today. We'll make a couple changes to the chest variation to better target your lats. Don't be surprised that the long heads of your triceps and your abs are sore tomorrow too. The lats are not the only muscle group working here. This move will give your lats a wake up call since they are used in rows and pull downs already in which the biceps are a secondary muscle group. Here we have no help from the biceps, but with little help of the triceps, a deeper stretch and a helpful partner to keep you from flipping over the bench, you can be sure you're gonna stimulate your back for further growth. Grab a relatively heavy dumbbell and lay perpendicular with your shoulder blades on a flat bench. Begin with the dumbbell on the floor. This will be your standing and finishing position. If your dumbbell of choice is particularly heavy, you may want your training partner to stand on your feet. The trick to emphasize your lats here is to start from a fully stretched position. Cup your hands over the top of each other and flex your arms, your biceps, triceps, and forearms, that is, to keep a firm, safe grip on the dumbbell. You do not want to drop this mid-set. Colt wears a hat when he does these just to make sure he doesn't rack his forehead. He's forgetful enough as it is, and he does not need another concussion. Take a deep breath and contract your lats hard to bring the dumbbell up just over your face. Any further will emphasize mostly your chest and serratus at this point, but that's for chest day. Lower the weight slowly and controlled with every rep. Ideally, you should fail between eight and 12 reps with proper form. This is not the time or place to see who can lift the most weight. Your last rep should take about 10 seconds to lower the weight to the floor. If you can't lift it up to perform an additional rep, then that means you're truly hit failure and you've got the job done. Be sure to end after the eccentric rep and not with the dumbbell over your head. This is first and foremost for safety, but if you end by pulling the weight up, you did not truly train to failure. Therefore, remind yourself the set is not over until you lower the dumbbell to the floor. Then you can leave knowing you left it all in the gym. Absolutely. Thanks, babe. Make sure you remember to refuel with some water, electrolytes, and one gram of protein per pound of your lean body mass and get some good rest and bam, bigger back. Here we come. Thanks for watching. Send this over to your training partner before your next workout. Have fun. We'll catch you on the next video.